Take a walk on the wild side with Discovery Family Channel as we get up close with the amazing animals at Zoo Miami. Go behind the scenes to see the enormous effort that goes into caring Aren't they gorgeous? and conserving these remarkable creatures. Right now on Wild Days of Summer. Welcome to Zoo Miami. Today we're back in the Conservation and Breeding Center alongside Toshi, a 41-year-old black rhinoceros. Now, black rhinos, unfortunately, are highly endangered. They've been killed for their horns, believe it or not, because it's believed that these horns and several cultures can be used for medicinal purposes, everything from curing cancer to taking away backache, which of course is not true. The horn isn't even really a true horn at all. It's like fingernail material that grows up on the top of their head. And they use these horns to kind of challenge each other and defend their babies in their different areas. Now, there are several types of rhinos in the world. The black rhino and the white rhino are found in small pockets in Africa, and unfortunately their numbers are badly, badly declining now because of poaching. As you can see, they're not these horribly aggressive animals. Once they understand you're not a threat to them, they're not a threat to you. But don't be misled by the fact that he's big and bulky looking because he can run really quickly. Black rhinos are called browsers, and browsers mean that they feed on different types of leaves and vegetation. The difference between the white rhino and the black rhino is not the color of the animal, it's actually the shape of the snout. The black rhino has his pointy snout, uses that lip like a finger, you see, to bring that carrot back into his mouth the same way he would eat leaves. The white rhino has a big square front because it's more like a lawnmower. It feeds on grass. Black rhinos are solitary animals, whereas white rhinos tend to be found more in groups. Anybody have any questions? If one of his horns break off, will it grow back? That's a good question. The horn is not really a true horn at all. It's basically nothing more than fingernail material. So if you cut off your fingernails, do they grow back? Yeah. Absolutely. So the rhino's horn will also grow back. Does the rhino have teeth? He sure does. Now, unlike you and I, he doesn't have teeth up here in front. He has molars in the back. So when you take your finger here, you're not going to get any teeth. But as he takes that food and moves it to the back of his mouth, you can hear it crunch because he's bringing it back to those molars. Do rhinos have good eyesight? Well, rhinos don't have very good eyesight, but it's not terrible. They depend much more on their sense of smell and their sense of hearing. How long do they live? Rhinos live anywhere from 35 to 50 years. But in the wild, it's very rare that they live past 40 because in captivity, they get protected from predators, they're given their medicines, they get protected from parasites. Those animals under human care tend to live longer. Don't go away. There's more wild days of summer coming up.